mint. It is one of the most commonly known and widely used herbs throughout the whole world. To me, mint is known as a very friendly herb, one that's gentle and can be used by adults of all ages and by most children. Hi, I'm Mallory, and in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you two benefits of mint that you can use all year long to help alleviate common signs and symptoms that we experience all throughout our life. The first benefit of mint is that it is known for its digestive health. In Europe, it's known as a digestive. A digestive is an herb that helps the body to break down and digest the food that we've just consumed. In Chinese medicine, mint is known as boha. Boha is an acrid herb. So it's one that's going to disperse accumulations or heavy feelings like after we eat a heavy meal, we feel full and like there might be a rock in our stomach. That dispersing quality and the digestive properties of mint are not only going to help to break down the food, but they're also going to help to alleviate gas, bloating, diarrhea, and constipation. For me personally, I rely on mint all the time, especially around the holidays when I'm enjoying larger meals and even in the summertime after a really great barbecue. Anytime I have a large meal that I know I'm going to have a sluggish digestive system with, I enjoy a cup of mint tea shortly after having that meal. So just remember that mint is a digestive aid. It's one that's going to help your body break down and further absorb the nutrients within the food that you've just enjoyed. It's also going to take away some of those signs and symptoms that just make us uncomfortable after we've eaten a big meal. The second benefit of mint is that it's excellent for respiratory aid. In Western medicine, mint is known as an antiseptic as well as an antibacterial. In Chinese medicine, mint is known as an herb that has a cooling property. So rather than being one that warms the body, it's one that cools the body. So as you can imagine, when you're experiencing cold and flu-like symptoms, and let's say you have a sore throat, lots of phlegm in your chest, and maybe you're coughing up phlegm that's yellow or green in color. Lean on mint. Brew yourself a cup of mint tea. It's going to help to cool and clear the heat of the sore throat. It's also going to help to break down the phlegm in your chest, as well as clear any heat that's in the chest as well by way of the acrid dispersing property and its cooling property. So remember, the next time that you just feel down with your cold and flu symptoms, maybe your first sign is always a sore throat, grab that mint tea. And if for some reason it progresses into your chest and you start having phlegm, continue drinking your mint tea. If you enjoyed the content in this video, consider joining me for my online self-guided class, Beyond the Benefits with Mint. In that class, we're going to go beyond just these two benefits. We'll talk about benefits for internal and external uses. We'll also talk about dosing, as well as cautions and contraindications for mint. And I will give you some of my personal and favorite suggestions for the use of mint, as well as brands that I love and rely on over and over again. 
Before I let you go, I want to leave you just one quick bonus, and that's how do you use Mint? The most common way to use Mint for your signs and symptoms and to have the benefits that we just described is simply with a cup of tea. So whether or not you're going to enjoy mint in its raw form here, or you have just bags of mint tea, either will do. What you're going to wanna do is take your desired amount of mint, so usually that's between three to seven grams, and you're going to take it off of the stem if you're using its raw form, or just take your tea bag and your cup, you're going to put your herbs in your cup and then pour your boiling water over the cup. Now it's very important, we do want to put a lid on it. We wanna put a lid on it because that lid will help to contain the volatile oils or essential oils that come out and are released when the hot water starts to steam the herbs. So we wanna savor those. We want those to stay contained within our water so that we can reap the benefits of them and help to heal our body even faster from the benefits of the essential oils as well. Now, because mint is a herb where we use the leaves, the leaves are very light and fresh and very aromatic, it doesn't need to brew for very long. So three minutes, five minutes, is going to be the max amount of tea time that you need to brew your mint. Once those three to five minutes are up, you can remove your lid and enjoy your cup of mint tea. As always, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. And stay curious. It is a bountiful world out there full of fresh plants and so many benefits. Thank you again for watching.